of Chopin, wonderful romantic music. Just want to give you a heads up about what we're looking at over the next week or so. So far we've studied the scientific revolution, the enlightenment, the baroque, neoclassicism, emphasis on observation, the world around us, understanding our world, and use of reason. We've seen natural philosophers approach to science, nature, and religion. Descartes' rationalization of us as thinking things, Locke and Hobbes' ideas on how we interact as a society and politically, and Kant's arguments that we should think for ourselves. We've seen the realism of the Dutch masters, the ongoing influence of the Catholic Church, and its influence on art and architecture, the rationale and formulate compositions of Bach, and the simplicity and accessibility of Mozart. In Romanticism of the 19th century, we now see a pendulum swing from the overarching principle of reason to emotion, feeling, intuition, spontaneity, individual expression, a reverence for nature. In the words of the German poet Goethe, feeling is all. And in the words of the Romantic poet John Keats, beauty is truth, truth beauty. This is all you know on earth and all you need to know. In some respects Romanticism is more an artistic period than a scientific or philosophic period. We see the rise of the individual, very personal modes of expression uh, through the revolutionary music of Beethoven. We'll see the reverence for nature in the landscape paintings of German artist Caspar David Friedrich. We'll see the intimacy and adoration for youth in the poetry of Wordsworth and the admiration for beauty in the poetry of John Keats. We'll see the emotional volatility and rise of individuality in the music of Frédéric Chopin, and the emphasis on the accomplishments of the individual in the music of Franz Liszt. Finally, we'll see the connections of Romanticism socially, politically, economically, and psychologically as we connect the ideas of Romanticism to other disciplines, and we uncover how we are still surrounded by Romanticism today, particularly individualism, expression, emotion. We continue to live artistically today. So I'll leave you with this quote from Romantic artist Caspar David Friedrich. Artists should paint not just what they see before them, but what they see inside them, within them. See you in class. <laughs>